is just extension. You know, some of these guys are doing tricks. He extends them so much that look at that. His handlebars scrape the ground. He's got the leg extended all the way back. Goes right into this cross-footed pumping front wheel combo. This is a great start for Moto if he can pull it out without touching the ground. And he does. Moto Sazaki. Beautiful tricks right there. Beautiful combinations and links. Yeah, now these are combos uh, he's pretty used to, but I think the deeper we get into his run, we're going to see him throw some of his more signature tricks that are very, very difficult. Now, watch, he's setting up right now, pumping into this backpacker, but watch how he switches his feet cross, and it comes out on the other side, another clean combo for Moto Sasaki. So glad to see him in this finals. And he actually sits, I think, ranked uh, pretty high in the year-end ranking as well. He could be one of the guys that sneaks in and takes a top spot, second or third year-end, if he does well in this run. Now watch one of these front wheel tricks as he gets down so low, scrapes his handlebars on the ground at times. But I think he's setting up for this hop through. Why? I, I don't think I've seen him do that before. New kind of switch to the other side of the bike. Let's see what he's setting up for. Back to the front wheel. Now watch this. He can climb on the handlebars and then foot up wow. on the pedal while he's spinning. Moto Suzaki pulling yeah, another Moto. clean combo with a minute 30 left. That is a very, very difficult trick. Wow, Moto Suzaki right there with one minute 20 left on screen. See what combination he is going to have. He is the eight time Japan champion and this is why he's got one minute left and I can't wait to see what he's gonna do because he knows that Dub and Matias are coming next. So I think he's gonna pull out a big combo here and he does. Cross this is his right cross-footed pumping. It's super difficult. Switches into that crack packer. Oh, just loses speed and goes over the front of the bike. You see him look up at the clock immediately to see if he has time to try that again. So we're gonna see. I, I'm not sure if he's gonna try that same combo or maybe move on to something else. That's where it gets really mental for these guys in their game plan and when they mess up, what happens next for them. We have had a lot of upset actually in this heat right here. I mean, in this finals, both heats, we haven't seen a fully clean run yet. Moto Sazaski though, coming into a great link right there, cleaning it up. 18 seconds left. I don't know if that's time for his combos because they're so long, but he's put together at least five really good long combinations. Looks like he's setting up for this. This is a, uh, I think he's gonna set up for this little switch-footed thing where he turns backwards. Watch this, oh, just. It's after time there. Catches his leg on the front wheel, but I think he's happy with that run just from the look on his face.